have you received a letter recently? I'm a CCD generation here, WhatsApp, <laughs> emojis. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah. Actually, when was the last time you wrote a letter? I think 2017. Oh my goodness. Was it a love letter? <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, to who? <laughs> to Karen. Anyway, awesome. <laughs> Switch up the intro. Who are we? <laughs> uh, wonderful. In our last video, um, as, as, as Rev Kim was doing the parting shot, he yeah. encouraged as many of you to stand out against the, car yes. the current. Yes. You know, to go away from where the masses are going yes. and, and and as you stand up one mm. of the calls that we find in scripture mm. that believers have been asked to be is a living episode Amen. a letter awesome. i believe you'll be reading that yes at some let point. me read it okay yes, and then ahead. we are good to go mm. and of course you are the one and only who yeah precious call yeah i think <laughs> we are so on fire about the letter <laughs> yeah we forgot it's our names brother kim is my name mm. and mm. we are the anchored man yes. please stand with us to second corinthians chapter 3 mm. verse 1 to 5 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Mm. Or do we need, mm. like some people, letters of recommendation to you from or from you? You yourselves are our letter, mm. written on your hearts, on our hearts, known and read by everybody. Yeah. You show that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Us. Such confidence as this is ours through Christ before God. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, mm. but our, our competence, our adequacy mm. comes from God. God. He Hallelujah. has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, of the spirit, not of the letter, but of the, the spirit. spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Gives life. Tell oh, us yeah. about this letter, <laughs> brother. I know you have content. I know you have a message. Paul yeah. is using a metaphoric <laughs> expression yes. to help us get something. He says you are a letter. Mm. Other version says you are a living episode. Mm -hmm. Now, as we know, and as I was asking about those who've written letters, letters carry a message. Correct. If you're writing a letter to someone you love, there are things you want them to know about you. You see, and I want to believe some of you have written letters of love, and yeah. as a result, there is mm. a relationship today. I wrote you one the other day. Hey, you wrote me a letter. But it was actually. a soft copy one. On a, yeah, on, remember, your on my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you see, so every letter carries a message. If it's a letter of apology, there's yes. a message of apology. Yes. If it's a letter of application, there's a job being, you know, True. sought after, mm. and so on and so forth. And Paul says our lives ought to be a letter. In other words, there is an expectation on us becoming the very thing we are encouraging people to become, or, to become mm -hmm. you see we are not just telling them there's jesus you know come to god but they can look at our lives and they can see actually we have become the very thing we are talking about awesome at a time like this when we are having issues such as you know you need to test before you commit mm. part of being a living episode is that you live to the standard of god of fleeing from all forms of sexuality. And you see the thing about an episode, the more people keep on seeing it working for you, yeah. and you're not compromising, the more they are drawn. Mm -hmm. How come, you know, the more toxic... What's different? Exactly. Yeah. The more toxic masculinity is saying you should not do this as a mm. man, don't go here, don't go to the market, don't wash utensils, and they see you wash utensils and your beard is not falling off. Yeah. You know, they see you, <laughs> you know, go to the market with the babies, and you're not losing your manhood. <laughs> And you're not being fired, you're still getting it. And yeah. the content of the letter, that you are reflecting so much God, yes. so much of the standard of God, mm. that then you begin to become like a magnet and people wow. want to know, how, how is wow. it working? Wow. How is it for you? How are you wow. able to say no wow. to all forms of ungodliness? Amen. We know that for this particular job, you don't make it unless you know someone from mm. the back door. Mm. You've not done that, you've mm. lost it, but look at you. Mm. Your life is still so much meaningful. Mm. There's so much joy. What's the secret? Mm. And you point them to the author of the letter. Wow. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Every day, Amen. every night. Amen. I remember you preaching and you say that it is relational evangelism yes. that actually draws 75% of, of all converts. Yes. So it's me and you doing life. Yes. And Precious observes me and says, this guy, yeah. he does not shout. Mm -hmm. He does not lift a certain finger mm -hmm. in one of these hands yes. when buses, when he's provoked. When he's provoked. <laughs> he does not use the F and the M word. Yes. You know, he does not react in a certain way. Mm -hmm. He has a principle mm -hmm. like Kim or Precious. You know, he has a prayer life, a devotional life. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I love the story that you shared about Henry who? 
Oh, Henry Morton. Henry, Henry Stanley. Yeah. Yes, Henry Stanley, yes. who was actually converted from a from being an atheist yes. to actually being a believer, a believer by just by observing Dr. the lifestyle of who? Dr. Livingstone. Yes. And so the question would be as an anchored man, mm. is your letter in so much harmony yeah. with what the word of God is saying mm. to the point in your workplace, mm. at home, mm. with your colleagues, yeah. with your friends, in mm. your boys club, mm. is there such a relational evangelism impact yeah. that people are actually saying, precious, show me the way to your God. Exactly. Precious, yeah. what is the secret? Mm. Precious, how are you able just to, you know, honor authority, mm. honor older people? Yeah. How is it that, uh, you're so gentle. <laughs> <laughs> you know where that one is coming I from. Know, I know, You know, why, why don't you build a mountain yes, out, out of, of issues? issues. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm wondering, what, what is happening? And yeah. we tell them Christ is the answer. answer. Mm -hmm. He is the letter in us mm -hmm. that the world is reading. And so world, mothers and fathers, mm. I know some of you are wondering, what's happening to a boy child? Mm. Tell the boy child to come back to Jesus. Yes. So that Jesus lives in them, mm. they become a living epistle, right. and the moment they become a living epistle, they become a letter that can be read. Mm -hmm. So that when toxic masculinities tell them, touch everywhere, mm. test before, yeah, before you take you it commit. home, mm. before you commit, you tell them the letter, the greatest letter who is Jesus. Says he flee. says no, mm. and he's saying flee. Mm. Thank you so much. Wonderful. And we pray that you will be a living epistle. Oh, yes. You can tell them where they can catch us. <laughs> and in case they want to give their lives to Jesus. There is a number appearing on your screen. Come Please on now. Feel free to reach us through that number. Mm. We are on Facebook, Amen. Twitter, Instagram, at Amen. CTAM, Church Online, and YouTube, of course. Yes. Please follow us and share this video as much as possible. Amen. And we hope to see you next time. Yes. Thank you for watching always. Awesome. God.